Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be Flash and Bisu in a best of five! Sent to me by RJB. Are you surprised by that? You shouldn't be. Top left of Circuit Breakers for game number one. It's gonna be Bisu. <laughs> In the top right, it's Flash saying hi yo. <laughs> Does he know that it's Bisu? He should, right? Bisu's playing under a barcode name. But Flash is using a name that he's used for a while. Well, used for a while. So hey, it's a best of five featuring Flash and Bisu. Two. Juggernauts and Legends of Brood War. You know that already, but man, is it fun to say it. Oof. <laughs> Everybody says that Terran Mech is hard to handle as Protoss, unless you're Artosis. But, you know, Bisu just knows how to win against it, but Flash makes Bisu look like a novice playing against Mech sometimes. So, we will see what's going to go on here. Hmm, no scouting, no proxies, just building up. Just doing the build order for PVT. Everything is A-OK -okay here. Barracks inside the main base. We've got a gateway coming up inside the main base. Everything close to your command center and close to your nexus here. Just very, very cautious openings. Steve the SCV scouting out. Are we scouting the right way, Steve? No. We are not. You should have gone counterclockwise, man. You might have died, but you would have found Bisu and reported the location to Flash. Yeah, Cybercore. <laughs> No one gate expand against Flash. That is certainly, certainly the right thing to do. He will punish that so, so, so hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pylon to help with the pathing of uh, retrieving Vespine gas from that Vespine geyser with an assimilator. Just waiting, just waiting till we have enough gas for a factory. Do 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 do. Just waiting. There we go. Factory coming down. Respecting Bisu as well. Mutual respect in game number one for both of these players. So SCV pops in and says, hey, what's up, Bisu? Anything crazy? No? Cool. We'll just stick around and see if you do anything nuts, like throw up a Stargate off of one base, which would be insane. Like, the absolute wrong thing to do. But what you want to see is if there's going to be an expansion here or not. What's fun about Best of Fives is that you will see one base plays. You'll see two base plays as part of a Best of Five. You'll see cheese. You'll see proxies. You'll see stuff you don't see in the normal cast that Falcon puts up on the channel six times a week. Instead, you might see no expansions at all. Both players going for a one base versus a one base, and somebody coming out on top thinks to better micro instead of a macro win, you know? This probe is like, whoa, I just want to know if there's an expansion. No, say the Marines. You are not allowed. <laughs> and it is an expansion coming in from Flash. Oh, look, boom, Nexus as well. Okay, so we will see expansions in this game, but it was not a guarantee. Not even close. Oh, a Dragoon showed up. What's up, Dragoon? These are Flash Marines, sir. Ah, he got one, though. He, ooh, he's gonna kill... No, he's dead. That's a dead Dragoon. Ooh, but does get two Marines. Two Marines for a Dragoon. Quick math. 100 versus 125 and some gas. Uh, not a good trade for Bisu, but keeping that Marine count a little bit lower is good for him in the long run. Again, trading Dragoons out for the death of Siege Tanks and Marines, I guess, makes a little bit of sense. Ooh, quick Starport here, too. Out of flash. That is a pretty fast, very sneaky starport. Feels like drops to me. And guess who's got singularity charge already? That's right. Bisu does. So, Dragoon outranges the bunker. We know that story. We've seen it a million times. Steve the SCV gets sniped, but does scout the robo facility, which could be used for reaver drops, but also could just be used to see the spider mines that are going to be happening here from Flash at some point. When that is, we don't know. We don't know. But we can find out. We can find out together here, right? When spider mines are going to be researched. 
quickly. Siege tank on the way just to shoo away this Dragoon. It could be a siege tank into Spider Mines, into Vulture Speed. Because I do feel like this means dropship. Oh, this means dropship to me. This early starport control tower tells me it's not a Wraith. It's not going to be a defensive Wraith to deal with potential drops from Bisu. This is I want a dropship to drop some Vultures in butt side Bisu's base and see what I can do. So we'll keep an eye on that strategy, whether it works or not. That's the fun thing about these games. You never know. Ooh, support bay hiding down here at the natural base. Not a place that Flash will naturally scan. Man, this could be drop versus drop here in game number one. Yeah, see, dropship on the way. Vulture speed, yep, see? See? Do you see what I see? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah, this is definitely vulture drop versus river drop. Here in game one, what are we gonna get? Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, I feel like Reaver Drops defeat Vulture Drops pretty easily because Vultures are garbage against Reavers and Vice, you know, that's going to be a problem. Mm, got our Reaver yet? Working on it. Working on it. Drop ship says in the pipe. Five by five. We're going to cruise on in blind. No early scan. We're just coming in or unloading. And the vultures are on the move. It's not even four. It's just three. And then the reaver pops out, but it doesn't have scarabs yet. And it gets scouted. <gasps> Flash, you monster. How many probes will die? A lot. A lot of probes will die. The vultures die, but that was expected. It's 30 probes remaining to 38 SCVs. And the reaver got scouted. The reaver... Oh, no. The reaver drop tech. It's totally scouted by that. And now there's a Wraith on the way to deal with that shuttle. Okay, so this might just be GG, right? Like, I mean, there's a Dragoon here trying to keep it alive, but... Ooh, there's multiple Dragoons here. It's delay, 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 delay until Siege Mode is done, but Siege Mode is pretty far from done. Another Wraith is on the way. That shuttle's already horribly injured. You really don't want to be flying around a Terran base with a horribly injured shuttle. Mm. All right, well, here we go. Dragoon pressure here. Oh, Stargate on the follow-up with a fleet beacon here on two bases. Reaver shot. Bunker down. Tanks taking hits. Bisu. 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 This is what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. You ever want to see Flash lose a game? He doesn't win all of them. But Beast has got a better chance against him than almost anybody else does. Siege mode is done. Flash stabilizing a little bit here. There we go. And the Wraith is going to take down that shuttle. No. Too many Dragoons on the defense here against that shuttle, which has 20 HP and an entire Reaver inside it. Kill these Dragoons. And that shuttle dies. Dragoons taking those tank shots. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo, man. And carriers on two bases. What in the name of all that is holy? What are we doing here, man? Bisu's two base carrying here with Dragoons, obviously. A couple gateways coming in. This is not him just spending cash entirely on carriers and nothing else. This is going to be a hybrid setup. Oh, that dropship's in all sorts of dead mode. Oof. Oof. 17 HP left. Yeah. Whew. Shuttles and dropships not having a good time in this game. Almost dying, but I suppose not dead, so it could be worse. Could always be worse. Carrier capacity. Air weapons on the way. Bisu is getting into that carrier lifestyle. I'm waiting for a scan to come over here. I'm really waiting for Flash to realize that these are carriers. Of course, the question is, if you don't have enough Dragoons and a bunch of tanks show up, before your carriers are really ready to do anything, do you just die? <laughs> That's the question on my mind right now. How many tanks do you have to have to roll through this, kill that second base, and then pretty much win the game? Because you're two base versus one base as a Terran versus a Protoss. Even if the carriers show up, you've got Charon boosters on the way. You can make some Goliaths. You'll be fine. Look at this observer. Just keeping an eye. Keeping an eye on these guys. Yeah, I think it might just be on follow mode. I'm just... I'm waiting... Oh, Okay. Well, Vultures got into the main base of Beast. You see the carriers now. So, four Goliaths getting fired up at a time. Worker count. 45. 
to 44 in favor of Flash right now. This observer's putting in some serious work. So no scan required, just drop some vultures in here and saw the fleet beacon and saw the carriers and said, oh. Oh, he says. He's gonna try to maybe drop back in. Look at these guys passing in the night. Shuttle, dropship, hey Bob, hey Bill. Oh, turning around. Gotta use this reaver to try to deal with these vultures. Super duper annoying stuff here. Getting behind the mineral line is so good. Ah, uh, you're kind of keeping your dragoons from getting in here. Reaver, ah, oh, Reaver does get a vulture. No, Flash. A little bit careless. Run! Ah, oh, everybody dies. And everybody dies. Hmm. All right. So Flash, instead of trying to get there before the carriers were really viable, he waited for some Goliaths, waited for Caron boost. Yeah, like I said, two base attacks versus two base defenses is stuff we're going to see today in this best of five. Not all the games, but, you know, this one, yeah. Siege tank sieging up. Ragoons try to get them to siege up out here before letting them siege up right here. Right? That is the that is the trick. And then gonna drop ye old Reaver right in this mineral line. Uh, no reaction time from Flash at all. Okay. Oh, well, now he pulls the SCVs. And that Scarab does nothing. Oh, that sucks. Totally sucks. Siege tanks. Dragoons are trying to target fire these siege tanks. Oh, mm, three of the siege tanks remain. In range of this base is a major problem. This Reaver does get killed by a Goliath eventually. 47 to 44 workers. Flash is okay after that experience. I mean, trying to micro battle on this side of the map and battle on this side of the map at the same time? Come on. That is not easy for anyone. The larger problem here is that Bisu needs to be on three bases to handle a two-basing Terran. The cost-effectiveness of the army requires it. But maybe if you win the game soon enough, you don't really need that third base supremacy, you know? Can the Goliaths get any shots off on these carrier bodies? The carrier micro is really good. As you would expect it to at the hands of Bisu's slow zealots getting into the battle here, jumping on top of these tanks. The Dragoons are all dead, but the Zealots are a real problem, even without their legs upgrade. Goliaths are just attack and intercept. No, oh, there we go. Now they're stutter stepping forward. Now the carriers are taking some serious hits. Enough to kill one of them before the Dragoons intercept. No, and a GG. The last taps out in game number one. I gotta see those final 30 seconds. It's a 1-0 right now. So what is it? One okay, 106 to 84 total supply. Uh, most of that is army. His tank count got reset, which is never what you want to do as a Terran player, even if you're on two bases and the Protoss is on two bases. Yeah, 104 to 78 supply. The vast majority of that is army value. He does get a carrier, but not enough. And GG's out. Wow. So game one, a carrier hybrid two base opener out of Beast who gets the win over Flash. That's crazy. That's really, really impressive stuff there out of Beast who. 61,000 to 49,000 points in game one. Out producing Flash, out killing Flash by more than he outproduced Flash. That's some cost effectiveness for you. Carriers will do that and outspending Flash, even though it was only two base to two base. And the worker counts are pretty even, and Flash had a worker advantage by about 3,000 resources in only 12 minutes. That's some crazy good macro. Hot dang. All right. Well, that's game one. Let's go to game number two. I assume that Flash will not take that lion down. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Game number two is on Fighting Spirit. Bottom left this time going to be Bisu. Bottom right going to be Flash. All right. These two guys going at each other. Again, thanks to RJB for the replay. Check him out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. We also have Falcon Paladin merch available at FalconPaladin.store. We got Robert the Zealot stuff, Steve the SCV stuff, Terry the Overlord stuff. You know how this works. You probably know about the store if you've been here long enough. If this is your first time here, welcome. So glad to have you here. Yes, Brood War is still going strong in 2023. Sometimes I run into people who are like, what? StarCraft is still a thing in 2023. I thought I had died. No. Brood War is eternal. I will be casting StarCraft. I, I don't know, man. Until the day I die. 
when I'm 145 thanks to advances in health science. <laughs> They're extending the human life and I'll spend all of it casting StarCraft. That would be great. That'd be great. Do you think they'll keep making like uh, just... Man, that's a great question. Will they continue to remaster StarCraft with every new update in, you know, in PC technology, right? Because eventually there will come a time even the remaster of StarCraft just won't run on certain computers. I mean, how long into the future that will be, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to keep this PC around forever so I can cast StarCraft. Will YouTube be around in 20 years? Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Anyway, no proxies here in game two. Hang on. This is not a Nexus first. This is a Nexus first. Remember when I was like, Flash go and punish a Nexus first, or even a gate expand? Well, he's got to see it to punish it. <laughs> Must see it to punish it. And here we go. Steve, it's all up to you, man. You're going to scout the right direction? Nope. <laughs> this guy is going the wrong way. Bisu doesn't know it yet, but Bisu is breathing a big sigh of relief that this SCV is not heading this way to see this Nexus first. Because you know what would happen? The boys would be pulled, a bunker would be built, Marines would be produced. I have not really seen a Protoss be able to defend against that sort of thing with a Nexus first opening. Maybe Bisu can. Maybe he's a monster. Ooh, okay, two gate. He's assuming, right? He's assuming he's gonna get scouted here. Look at this probe. No, you can't scout up here, no. There's important Protoss stuff up here, Steve. Steve the SCV who has a shirt on falconpaladin.store and then he's like, ah, you tricked me. You tricked me. Look at Bisu putting so much effort into keeping Flash from scouting him. <gasps> and the SCV dies? Okay, all right. All right, Flash has to has to consider there's something going on here, right? He's sending another SCV out for scouting, but he doesn't know if Bisu's in the top left or the bottom left. Is he going to cross-spawn scout? Is he going to scout in the bottom left here? Boo. Boo. He's going to cross-spawn scout, Flash. This hurts. You're doing everything wrong. I mean, in fairness, he has to guess, right? He doesn't have any reasonable intel on where Bisu is, which is why he's scouting. So he's just got to go with his gut. And sometimes, guess what? Your gut is wrong. Sometimes your gut is wrong. And sometimes Bisu totally and cleanly gets away with getting a Nexus first off against Flash. That's crazy. Flash still has no idea it's a Nexus first. He's just casually he's doing whatever he always does, right? Tanks. Getting a second base now. Oh my gosh, he still doesn't know. He still doesn't know. Here we go. Steve 2 is here because Steve is dead, and he's like, da 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 da. Oh. Oh. Oh, he says. You at Nexus first on me. Uh, and you already have Dragoons out to defend against a potential kind of like a marine tank attack. Oh, <laughs> this might be a quick 2-0, man. This 100% might just be a quick 2 to 0. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is crazy. Robo facility on the way for Bisu. Nothing weird about that, right? Could be Reavers. Could just be safety against potential spider mine rushes here. Kind of hard walling off his front, too, in case vultures show up. But mm, nope. No vultures at all. I, at this point, I d what do you do if you're Flash? You're behind economically pretty substantially. 34 to 27 workers. Your second base just finished. Your second gas isn't done yet, and Bisu, of all people, Bisu, is casually just, you know, two base in it, making probes non-stop, working on an observatory, getting singularity charged, so we can't really put any pressure on Flash, which, I mean, not a good feeling if you're playing against Flash, not being able to pressure him at all, but I think Bisu's accepting that. 
so long as he has an economic advantage, which he needs to have anyway. He just got an early head start on that today. Or in this game, rather. It's the same day. Obviously. Uh, is he just going to third base? Is this him just being like, you know? Let's do it. Let's third three base at six minutes. I don't see anything Flash is doing that's all okay. I know what to do here. I got Nexus first. I have a plan. It just seems to be pretty much the same. Getting Caron boost. Getting some Goliaths out. Uh, blindly getting some Goliaths out? Yeah, because I haven't heard a scan in a minute. I don't know what he's waiting for. Maybe worried about DTs showing up, so saving his scans for that. Because, boy, does he not have any other form of detection. No engineering bay yet. So, yeah, it would make sense he's hanging on to his scans in case DTs arrive. That would really ruin him if he didn't have energy for scans. Third base coming up. There we go. Third base left side here from Bisu. That's where we are. That's where we live right now. Oh, just... Well, no, there's a Stargate on the way. Whether or not that's going to lead to a fleet beacon, only time will tell. I don't think it really matters. Beast of going for carriers. Oh, there's our scan. There is our scan. All right, so scans in, sees the Templar Archives and the Stargate and says, okay. And sees the third base and says, yeah, this is probably just Arbiters rather than carriers. Watch BC throw up a fleet beacon. And Arbiter Tribunal. Okay, all right, all right. So it's Arbiters. It's Stasis. It's Recall. It's all sorts of great stuff. Just blew both of his scans, but no, he had enough energy for another couple before he threw those ones up. Smart. Smart. SMRT. So now comes the slow march across the map with your siege tanks, with Bisu trying to delay, forcing sieges in places where the Terran doesn't really want to siege, like right here. He doesn't want to siege here. He wants to siege somewhere else. Science facility coming in, trying to counter these orbiters with EMP. And guess what? Here comes a zealot drop. Not a reaver drop this time, it's just zealots. They're just here to kill three SCVs. That's their mission. Three SCVs die. Nobody really responds to them at all. So they're going to try to take down an armory. They're going to get that, too. Ooh, shuttle dies. Zealots are now on a one-way mission, boys. Yeah, armory dies. Ha-ha! Further upgrades, further Goliath production for you is over. Pretty solid little drop there, for sure. Third base was blocked by Pylon. It's good now from Flash. He's three base in. Four base is coming up at the top left here from Bisu. So, I don't know. Flash is keeping up as well as he can. Considering ye old Nexus first play got off and he couldn't do anything about it because he didn't see it until it was way too late. Spider Ryan's getting researched here at nine minutes. Seems a little bit late. He's got to start put, putting some pressure on Bisu. I mean, I appreciate the three base. But actually, here he goes. Yeah, every tank shot. Every tank shot is key here. Jumping on it. b like, yeah, must trade out Dragoons for tanks. More tanks showing up, though. Dragoons are falling. Major connections here. 115 to 84 supply. But Flash's army value is looking good. He's got the tanks. Oh, shuttle... Bad rallies itself into death? That's not great. Dude, Flash. See, yeah, PC was like, I can't engage with that. Quickly. The, the Dragoons that I have. No? All right. That's really bad stuff. So let's wipe out these siege tanks. The rest of it we can handle. Where are the vultures? Why is this zealot allowed to do this? Coming around the backside here, too. Okay. All right. That. Ooh. 
This was a very, very tough hold for Bisu, but it looks like he did it, man. Speed lots with plus one for the win. No vultures. No vultures left anyway. Incredible stuff. And then a counterattack of Bisu into this third base of Flash. Oh my gosh, Flash. He does scan. The Zealot's getting on top of your vultures, though. Not exactly what you want to be seeing, but the vultures hanging on. Plus one attack, getting the work done. Continually scanning SCPs, trying to hold against these cloaked dragoons. Siege tanks, all they want to do. Yeah, there you go. Get some shots off, and this base gets saved as well. Whoa. Recall getting researched by Bisu. This game, uh, game two. My brain wants to say game three, but this is game two. Is a massive bloodbath so far. 61 to 60 workers, but four bases to three bases. Not a safe working environment at the third base for Flash. Not quite yet. Hmm. Spider Mines connecting with Zealots. A sound every Terran player loves to hear. Spider Mines connecting with anything is a sound they love to hear, but especially Zealots, man. Zealots are a thorn in Terran's side. Probably even more than Dragoons are, honestly. All right, so BC4 base and probably time for a fifth base. If that's what this probe is up to. And this is Flash just kind of getting out macroed and overwhelmed right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's not invincible. The champ is cut, as they would say. Recall? Might have to recall a little early. Ooh, that's big. Arbiter gets wiped out. No recall connection there. Didn't even get EMP'd. Just straight up killed before it could recall. Oh, okay. Well, Bisu's plans foiled. Volter trying to make sure a fifth base is not easy to take. Zealots up the ramp. Dropping some Zealots on top of those tanks using the, the shuttle. Maybe a recall here? Just providing cloak for now. I, don't, I haven't seen Stasis come through that production tab. I like this from Bisu. He's not just like, I'm just going to try to out macro flash. No, let's kill his third base and win. Let's go for the jugular now, but not really working out. Oh, Stasis is done. Hey, look at Falcon. Understanding what upgrades are done. Excellent stuff here, but continuing to pressure this third. Ugh, fallen back. Flash able to hold like few other Terran players could with Bisu desperate to get up that ramp and kill your third base. Hmm. No oh, pro comes down to expand. Vulture's waiting. They're not content just to lay some spider mines. They themselves want to be the ones to kill the probes that are trying to build a base here. More Arbiters in production. No sign of a plus one air weapons to give the Arbiter attacks a little more oomph. Okay, one Zealot clears out three spider mines. That's a pretty cost effective efficient dude. Not bad. I mean, not like one Zergling clearing out a bunch of spider mines, but you know. It's about as good as the Protoss can do. Since probes don't trigger spider mines. And uh, everything else cheaper is, uh, well. It's probes. And anything in that price range is a zealot, and you know, there are 100 minerals each. Anyway. Anyway, more factories on the way. More production in the form of another Nexus is on the way from Bisu here to up this left side. Curious, man, these observers though. Flash is just letting these observers hang. They're getting some really nice intel about the Terran experience that Flash is not getting about the Protoss experience today. He is in the dark. He's scanned a couple times, right? That's how he knew about the Arbiters, but... He doesn't know if there's a carrier transition happening. It's funny because, like, I don't know what you would see in here that would make you be like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen, right? Flash is going to be making mech. He's going to maybe be making vultures and siege tanks. What else do we expect from this guy at this stage of the game, right? He's not going to go for, like, a marine-style opening. Or transition. He's not going to move into Marine Medic Firebat at this stage. It's ridiculous. Although there is no splash damage with this army. So maybe it would be kind of awesome. If suddenly he just had like 50 Marines and Medics with Stim and 
range and stuff, and then these dragoons would be like, oh, wait, what? What happened here? I am noticing that there is no splash damage right now at a BC. None. The closest thing to splash damage he's got is the stasis ability on the Arbiters. Just because you can hit multiple targets with it, but not quite doing damage, you know? Observer scouting. Bo observers scouting the double expansion attempt right now from Flash. And BC is like, mm, how about... How about no? How about you not be allowed to double expand naked? Like, nothing defending this at all. Nothing. And this too. Nothing defending this either. Dude, I think BC is going to take a quick 2-0 in this. 2-0 in a best of five. Flash really in trouble. All right, going on in. Here come the Dragoons, the Zealots. On the other side, Flash is trying to push there, but is like, wait, hold on. The army I left behind is getting absolutely wrecked. Must pull some units back. Leave some, I don't know, a siege tank and some vultures here. That's not going well. But he needed to bring the bulk of his army to deal with all this mess. Oh, an EMP goes off on nothing, and also the science vessel dies. And Flash is like, all right, let's go. EMP is the Arbiter. Probably unnecessary, but I mean the stasis already came off, so definitely unnecessary, but whatever. What else are you gonna use the energy for? A recall, maybe? Oh wait, or a defensive matrix, maybe we're talking about science vessels here. Right. Natural base of Bisu, and all of a sudden in a lot of trouble. Dude, vultures getting up into this third base would be disastrous. There's no cannons, no dragoons up there either. Flash, how is this happening? How did he just did he just three base? His way to victory here. Look at, I just send some siege tanks because he thinks there's cannons. There are not cannons. Good stasis, great stasis. Holy smokes, great stasis. That caught seven siege tanks. And now the Zealots come in to clear up what's left. Holy cannoli. Flash continuing to roll tanks, saying though these guys come out of stasis and there are like 20 zealots right on top of them. It's kind of a siege tank's worst nightmare when that happens. This is so scrappy, I cannot believe this game. 66 to 37 workers in favor of Flash, but similar uh, total supply, which means that Bisu has more army right now, but he needs it to deal with this really cost efficient mech. Pulling back is Flash. He's like, well, I did take down the natural nexus of Bisu. I wept out a ton of workers at this third. It really should be all of them. I'm really shocked he didn't send like two vultures in and just wipe this thing out. I guess maybe then the probes could have evacuated through this, which the vultures couldn't follow them through. Either way. Hey, an obs got killed. <laughs> Amazing. Fourth base lives from Flash here at about 20 minutes. Too little, too late. Maybe. Maybe it is. Yeah, plus three vultures are pretty mean. Gateway army is sitting here at the upgrade. Plus three, plus one on the shields. Pretty normal stuff. Yeah, I mean, even supply, but again, that worker advantage for Flash means the army is a lot bigger for Bisu here. He is positioning to go after Flash's fourth base. If Flash loses that, he loses the game. That is the win condition right now. EMP does not catch that Arbiter. Good dodge. 
Arbiters are pretty shifty. And then comes in and bam, stasis is three siege tanks, four vultures. But still, attacking it into an entrenched Terran position, helmed by flash no less, is not a recommended course of action. Here we go, though. Going for it anyway. Remember when I was like, not recommended? Screw that, says Bizu. Comes in, dropping zealots on top of everything. Spider mines are triggering on top of siege tanks and vultures, but no. Not enough. Wow. The army advantage here. Not enough for Bisu. He's got to pull back. It's 182 to 115 supply. Remember when we were even supply just a second ago? That went so poorly for Bisu. I cannot believe Flash crushed it that easily. Cannot believe it. Holy cannoli. Flash building a command center on the middle. That's a GG. Bisu taps out. He knows he can't save his bases along the left side. He's got to be done. Flash somehow overcomes a Nexus first opening from Bisu to turn it into a win in 20 minutes. I thought for sure Bisu was going to go down or go up to zero here. Flash not able to recover. But it all came down to that final huge battle. He got a third base up. He got a fourth base up. He basically said, Bisu, come get me. A four basing me is very scary. Entrenched up. Spider mines. Missile turrets. He even caught some stasis because he didn't EMP that Arbiter cleanly. And that final battle just went perfectly. I don't think it could have gone much better for a Flash. He ended with a maxed out army and Bisu was nothing. Bisu had nothing left. Uh, like I said, attacking into that trench position was not a good idea. I think Bisu should have tried to get him unseaged before going for that, but yo, Flash punished him for it hardcore. Flash out producing and out killing the Protoss player here. Structures raised eight to nine in favor of Flash and yeah, Bisu outspending Flash by about 7,000 resources, but not quite enough. Obviously not quite enough in 21 minutes. I mean, he had to outspend him by like 3,000 resources in 10 minutes to beat him in the last game. Uh, this time around, that last battle was way in favor of Flash. Incredible stuff in game two. We're tied up one to one. Coming in to this best of five. First player to win three is your victor. You know how that works. You know how best of fives are. So let's see what game three has. I'm honestly so excited to see what it is. Man, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Game three, we're back on Fighting Spirit. But top left, Bisu. Bottom left, it is Flash. One and one. Says Bisu, he's right. <laughs> he knows the score. Flash knows the score as well, but Bisu just needed to make sure that Flash knew the score by putting one and one in the chat here. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit because I don't feel like we're gonna do any proxies here today. Too much respect right now. And one one just means it's the best of three now, so whoever gets you know, two victories in the next three games is your victor. Still no early scouts. I don't know. Like, yes, economically it hurts you to send an SCV out earlier than later. But man, if you can catch that Nexus first earlier, you can punish it earlier instead of not punishing at all. But look, Flash, maybe he doesn't care. He, he won. He won against a completely unscouted Nexus first. That's crazy. That is so crazy to me. Does scout the right direction this time though. Comes up, sees, okay. Bisu not Nexus first thing. <laughs> Going for a gate, Cybercore, of course, of course. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course, unless of course the horse is of course the famous Mr. Ed. Dude, that TV show is like decades older than I am. That's how old that one is. I read a thing that apparently it's a live action show featuring an ostensibly talking horse, which you're right, hilarious, right? They would give Mr. the horse who played Mr. Ed peanut butter and it would make him like move his mouth as he kind of tried to chew it like he was talking. And then they just voice over it. So good. Ooh, Citadel canceled after scouted. Ah, and expanding now. He just, he just mind-gamed Flash, everyone. He made Flash maybe worry about DTs? Because super fast Citadel's like, okay, DT opening. 
So he's gonna maybe try to get an engineering bay out here, try to get faster turrets than he's gotten, or spider mines will do too against DTs. I mean, getting spider mines anyway, right? Not like, oh no, it's DTs, I have to get spider mines. It's like, no, it's a viable opening here, is getting spider mines against Protoss early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, here we go, another starport, more drops. More drops. Spider mines out in your front door. What you gonna do about my spider mines? That's right, what's Bisu? Bisu can do the thing where you walk up, trigger the spider mine back up, and fire on it and kill it without taking any damage. Not easy to do. It is difficult to do, but Bisu, best Protoss player in the history of the game, yes, he can do it. Obviously. He's just really choosing not to right now. It's not a huge threat. It's not like a spider mine that's here or like in this mineral line, right? That would be scary. He's gonna wait for the obs, kill the spider mines normally by shooting at them while they're in the ground. Second factory on the way, and guess what? A drop ship probably coming in. By that I mean, we're ready to go, friends. This time, four, not three vultures. Spider mine top of the ramp, getting in this mineral line. Uh, Bisu. Bisu. He's like, he could scout in there. Okay, oh, spider mine! Oh, the spider mine connection on those probes! Oh! Oh my gosh! We have to rewind that. I'm sorry, we do. We do. We do! Ah, not too far back. T back to times two speed. So it's 35 to 29 workers now, 35 probes. Zoom. Dropship comes up at 2x speed. Goons trying to pressure. Okay. So 38 probes here. Spider mine there. Spider mine here. Probes evacuating because holy crap, there's four vultures murdering us. 32 probes. 30. Bam! Nine probes died to that spider mine connection. And they're fighting this Dragoon. There's no mining going on in Bisu's main base. The bunker goes down, but Marines and Siege Tanks should be able to chase these guys off. SCVs sacrificing their little bodies to get these Dragoons out of there, too. Siege mode is not quite done yet. Wow. So, I mean, this Vulture's got six kills. It is 35 to 17 workers right now. That Vulture drop was insanely effective. That's why you get the spider mines. Sometimes you get lucky, but this pressure on the other end of Bisu is massive. Il est massive. Siege mode, I mean, Flash kind of wait until siege mode is done. Robotics Bay coming up on the counter here from Bisu, trying to get some really sick connections. Siege tank up, firing into Dragoons, trying to jump on in here and kill these siege tanks. But two siege tanks, a little more difficult than one to deal with, but hey, one of them died, the one that remains is taking serious hits, but is able to escape into the main base. SCVs are decent fighters against these Dragoons, as we've always seen. Oh, friendly fire, spider mine damage kills like four SCVs and a Dragoon there. More Dragoon pressure as Bisu tries to rebuild his economic advantage. And maybe take a third base as well, but there's a spider mine there too. Dude, this Dragoon pressure is mean. SCVs, oh, killed a medic too. Why is there a medic? Holy cow. There was a medic, everyone. These Dragoons know they're not going home. They're gonna take as many SCVs with them as they can. 10 kills on that Dragoon, are you kidding? 10, and look at this, Bisu's caught up. 25 to 30 workers now by killing SCVs and remaking his own probes. Ah, this game, this game. Flash's insanely good Vulture attack wipes out 9, 10, 11, 12 workers, 15 workers total of Bisus. He's hugely in the hole economically. He sends some Dragoons down and says, you're late with your Siege mode because your Vultures are so upgraded, so take that. I like them apples. Kills a ton of SCVs. Has a nice day. Another Vulture comes back. Gets a couple kills. Nothing too crazy, though. Woo! <laughs> What a match. Absolutely banana pants. Okay. All right. We got this. We got it. Everything's okay. Bisu's restabilized. 
He's got a reaver. He's got a shuttle. He's got a dream. He's got a dream. I got a dream. He's got a dream. I got a dream. Another? But where did that guy go? Oh, is there a spider mine up there? Maybe. Sneaking a dropship up along the top side of Bisu's base. Bisu is not responding to this at all. Oh my gosh, Vulture attacks. This is amazing out of flash. And all Bisu can or all yeah, all Bisu can do about it is well, use the dragoons popping out of these gateways to save everybody's lives. That's one thing you can do. Scouts the Stargate. You know, gets a couple kills, gets some spider mines in. Reaver drop, reaver drop, and connecting, no, not connecting, too long, too long away from the reaver was that scarab, 49 to 39 workers here, two base to two base, a true two base to two base here, Flash has the better economy, a better economy Terran versus a Protoss is never good unless you're Bisu, in which case you can win game one in that situation and be just fine, thanks. Finally, a forge is on the way. Bisu's like, fine. Let me get some cannons up here. That'll help against this annoying vulture stuff. Templar archives warping in. We might get some high Templar here. Maybe some DTs. Probably high Templar or maybe just Arbiter tech, right? That's the more likely use for the Templar archives at this point. <laughs> Flash is like, yo, we're getting some serious value out of these vulture drops. This time, though, guess who's ready? That's right. Bisu is. Bisu is beyond ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Do do do. Bump bump ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba. Vultures. All right, fine. We'll get into the natural base. We'll kill your probes that way. How do you like them apples? No, stop. Stop, says Bisu. But he responds pretty well. Shuts it down. Dragoons, still 55 to 36 workers is uh, not where you want to be. Never where you would like to be economically against Flash is down about 20 workers. 19? Yeah. Ninja expand, quick. Ninja expand. This is the way to victory. Reaver. Stupid friggin' scarab stuck. Beast is so mad right now, I can tell. Scarab. Scarab giveth and scarab giveth or taketh away. I mean, sometimes it giveth and then it giveth more, but this time it taketh away because it's not getting great connections. These Reavers are not getting the solid hits on 8 million SCVs like they want to. Well, I don't know about coming in here. Yeah, bad. Bad. Oh my gosh. One HP left on that shuttle. Now Flash is mad. It's like, what? Oh, and the Wraith wants to finish it off, but then the Dragoons cover it perfectly. This is the highest level of StarCraft, man. This is as good as it gets right here. Okay, more spider mines being laid. If this third base gets discovered, Bisu's in a lot of trouble. And he is not really. He's just it's Naked Expanse. It's classic and as amazing as Naked Expanse can possibly be. <gasps> this is why you're active with your vultures, Terran players. This is why. Because sometimes you find stuff. Oh, BC's in so much trouble. BC's in all of the trouble. Immense amount of troubles all the way around. Ob snipe. Yeah, this is not. No, 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 no. We did this last game, Bisu. We did this last time. Uh, although, fewer vultures are here. Hold on. Oh, but if all those siege tanks are. Okay, yeah. 
All the zells are gone. GG! Bisu taps. Flash takes a 2 to 1 lead in this best of 5. <gasps> it all came down to this, man. This was it. Finding this, killing it. It's, uh, it's a 2 basing Protoss at 14 minutes is not good. The Vulture drops were insanely good. The Reaver drops were bad. That's it in a nutshell. That's game three. When you're at this high level of StarCraft, sometimes that's all it takes. <sighs> so, 59,000 to 51,000 points in favor of Flash. Outproducing Bisu 186 to 142. Out killing Bisu 88 to 78. Resources here. Outspending the Protoss. That's all I have to say. He outspent the Protoss, and that's how you win. Any game where Flash outspends the Protoss, they should win. That's it. It's very simple. Man. <sighs> All right. That was amazing. I. All of these games have been amazing. But let's see what the next game is going to have. Man, Bisu went up 1-0, and he finds himself down 2-1 after the, after the last next couple games. Crazy. So let's check it out. We'll be right back. Wow. For game four, we're on Bloody Ridge. Haven't seen this map in a while. Really bad for Zerg, but no Zerg here today. Top right, it's going to be Flash. He's up 2-1. Flash says hi -o. Bisu says hi. And the bottom left, it's Bisu. Oh, <laughs> huh, Bloody Ridge, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, Bloody Ridge, this little center area, it's so bad for, this map is just bad for Zerg, period, like we don't see a lot of wins for Zerg on this map, but uh, especially because this base is just, it's kind of important to take, and holding it against siege tanks that are set up, and like storm drops that can be back here and very safe and still get all your drones, it's just... Not a map we see a lot of, I think, just because Zerg players are like, screw that map, I hope it dies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gateway. Neat. We got ourselves a barracks. Okay. So, lots of respect. Steve moving out. S dodging my clicks. There he is. Look at him go. Zoom. Zoom. And it's a two-player map, so guess what? You can't guess wrong. Hey, hey. Gets in. Says, okay, Cybercore on the way. Neat. Early bunker. Like, really unnecessarily early bunker. Why? You see the Cybercore timing. You know Dragoons can't even start being built until right now. Oh, the Zealot. Okay. Look at me questioning Flash like an idiot. There was a Zealot. That's what the bunker is for. And it's also good against the Dragoons. So, hey. Just let me do my thing, Falcon. You got it, Flash. I'm here for you, buddy. Factory coming in. Zealot's on the... Ooh, Zealot's on the run by. Now SCVs have to fight. That Zealot's almost dead. Oh, now there's Marines. They came out of the bunker, obviously. So, focusing the injured Zealot... The other zealot not interested in engaging in this party. Just trying to, like, drag the marines away from the dragoon who wandered in. And, oh my gosh, no. He's, no, nope. Send the SCV into the bunker. Delay construction on the command center as much as you can. But the SCV must live. Dragoon, man. Oh my gosh, another one shows up. All the boys show up. Okay. That Dragoon gets killed because it's pinned in range of the bunker. This one should not die because, holy smoke. Woof. 
So that was an exciting last two minutes. It's over now, though, right? Everybody's happily on two bases. The Dragoon now has Singularity Charge and finds an angle at which it can hit this bunker without getting retaliation. Without being retaliated upon, even. Hmm. Can a tank parked here fire on the Nexus? Maybe. It could definitely hit this Assimilator. That would be annoying to deal with. How do you deal with that? Well, you get a robotic support bay, and you try to put the pressure on the Terran player so he doesn't have the time to start putting tanks in this position, right? That's how we do. Again, Vulture upgrades are prioritized here by Flash in this game, as pretty much most of them, most of the four games so far. And by most, I mean three of the four. Little tiny marine tank push out, bring in an SCV for repair purposes. Is he just trying to set up and establish a third base, or is he actually planning on getting across the map? See, these Dragoons are on delay. They're on delay duty, as they usually are in TBPs. Their job is to make it so that Flash can't just walk across the map. If you're a Protoss player who's struggling with Terran, one of the things you should learn how to do is that. Keep your Dragoons active and out on the map. When something like this starts happening, just poke and prod and try to force your Terran opponent to siege up their tanks, because that delays, delays, delays them, right? And the more delay, the more units you have back home to defend against this, the more tech you've got, the more you can send a Reaver to get a shot off on a siege tank. Sick. Sick plays. Reaver. Arrgh! All the Marines die except for one. There you go. Oh, no, there's an except for two, but oh, no. Oh, no, this is really bad. This is not like the worst thing. Oh, the snipe on the Reaver was so sick. Oh, the snipe on the Reaver was so, so, so sick. Oh, Dragoon's coming back home. That is a six kill siege tank and a three, three. They have three kills. Okay, 41 to 37 workers. Vulture's running around with speed and spider mines. Killing probes, throwing down spider mines, maybe. Don't even really bother. Ooh, trap this guy in a pit of death. Oh, missed that shot. Jeez, wow, that was one of the more egregious examples of a missed shot. Because he shoots and he hits here, and the vulture's like way over here. That wasn't even close, man. Siege mode on the follow. Carry on, boosters. Man, the Reaver was pretty good on defense, but you would much rather that Reaver be on offense, yeah? Does he have another one? He does. If at first you do not succeed, try, try again. Spider mines are good for scouting, too, if, you know, if you fly right over them. They don't have the biggest vision radius, but, you know, if you fly over it directly with something... <laughs> The spider mines will report that position back to Commander Flash. And the vultures see where it is, too. I mean, this poor shuttle's like, I'm just trying to be sneaky. Just trying to juke around. Stargate coming in. Maybe Beastu's like, you know what beat Flash in game one was carriers. What if we bust into carriers here in game four and force a game five? How'd you like them apples? But yeah, I got a bunch of best of series that RJB has sent in. It's just trying to carve out the time to cast an entire best of five is harder for me than finding the time to carve out time for a, you know, 25 minute game. So, oh, Reaver dies again. So I don't get to them super often, but I will do my best to get to the ones that he has sent me. Fleet Beacon! Fleet Bacon. Three basin. Maybe get a third gas up. That'd be nice if you're making carriers having that gas. Starport on the way. Probably just for science vessels. I don't know if I've seen Flash try the Wraith strategy against a carrier Protoss. Science facility on the way. 
As predicted here, and two carriers in production. All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Third base rolling quite nicely for Flash along the right side. I don't think I mentioned that, but we did look at it a couple times. And Engineering Bay scouting purposes. See if any more drops are coming or, you know, any carrier. Who knows? Who knows what will appear over this ridge, you know? Could be carriers. Why not? Could be scouts. I mean, it's probably not scouts, but it could be scouts. That's an option. It's available. What's so great about StarCraft is that everything's available. Is this guy going to get scouted? Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Let's see if this guy gets scouted. Okay, he's gonna get scouted. Well, now, ready, set, now. Ooh, didn't come, oh, now coming in. All right, a little bit late. Here we go. Flash is well defended against drop attempts of this kind, and Bisu's like, huh, well, guess I'm out of here. Fourth base, warping in from Bisu. Flash just growing, man. As Tesosis would say, just tanks, vultures, science vessels, SCVs, upgrades, supply depots, all of it working in beautiful orchestra. All at the same time. All helping each other. And here come a couple carriers. Interesting. He's going to show up with two? I guess. You guys are going to show up with a two. It's a good carrier. I mean, it's a good carrier position up here, right? And pull back into that fog of war. The Goliaths can't get any kind of a hit on you at all. Spider mining this whole area, so trying to unload some zealots in that position seems like a bad idea. And BC's like, okay, all right. We'll be patient. We'll be cautious. We'll wait for more carriers to be produced. Flash sees the fourth base warping in. See, it is defended by cannons. So vultures can't wander over there and wipe it out immediately like we saw in the last game. EMP on research. Scanning here and does catch us. Catch the front end of an army coming in. Not a big army, but it's an army nevertheless. They really should not fight this battle though. Guys, go. Skedaddle. Kite, kite, kite there. Way too many Goliaths in there. If it was just vultures, maybe you want to stand in, but generally no. Your job is that. Good job, Robert the Zealot. Mugs and shirts with Robert the Zealot on them at Falcon Paladin Dodd Store. See the beautiful movements on the minimap. The red streaked across this area. The blue streaked across this area. The hybrid carrier strategy of Bisu. Beautiful. We, ooh, I just realized. Have we seen this defeated? I feel like maybe once have we seen this hybrid carrier stuff defeated on the channel over the last year or so. But here's the engagement. Tons of carriers, dragoons in the mix. Siege tanks firing, getting some nice shots on those dragoons. Ground army, not quite enough to handle the ground army of Flash. Carriers on their own against this many Goliaths. With 2-1 upgrades, not going to have a great time. Gateway units are only plus one attack. The carriers are at a something upgrade. Let me select one of you. You're all making interceptors. Okay, but uh-oh. Flash is parking on your front doorstep. He can threaten two bases simultaneously with this position. What do you do? Well, you send some Dragoons to try to pick off reinforcements as they come in. Yeah, that's a good thing, but I don't know if it's enough to defend. Okay, ton of Zealots are here. Not many Vultures. 
The Goliaths kind of have the double job of dealing with Zealots and Carriers, and Bisu knows that. He's coming up. He's jumping on top of everything. He knows if this position cannot be cracked, he's done for. And the Carriers aren't dying. That's huge. Interceptors, yes. Carriers themselves are not, but oh, the position holds. Holds for now. Oh, and the stutter stepping. Goliaths find their mark and take out a carrier, but there are still five of them. They're in a okay position. Oh, Interceptor, sells for a plus one attack and nothing else. Upgrade advantage to Flash. Ooh, losing that science vessel was pretty big. Body shots on the carriers if you can, boys. Oh, little tiny Goliath army inside the natural base of Bisu. Getting rid of these high ground. Anything spotting high ground needs to die so this base doesn't go down. But I don't know about this, man. If you're Bisu and you're defending against Flash non-stop for a few minutes, it doesn't seem like it's going to get better, does it? He's expanding at the 12 o'clock. He's got reinforcements cruising across the map. You just wiped out all of his tanks, but guess what? He's got a lot more. He's not even really that heavy on tanks right now because he knows the Vultures, uh, well, the Goliaths, will trade very well against the Zealots. And the Dragoons, probes transferring in a very dangerous war zone, but they don't take any hits. Good job, them. And siege tanks are gone, and Bisu holds. Okay. It is scary, but ah, Vulture snuck up into the third base. The probe massacre, let it begin. Ooh, 61 to 46 workers in favor of Flash right now. Oh, just focusing. Focusing probes over and over and over and over again. But 131 to 116 supply. Flash's economy is on fire. He's, he's just making Goliaths here. That round of Zealots really kind of came out of nowhere, you know? And here they come. Three more Zealots into the mix. Is that another carrier down, though? Yeah, we're down to three carriers. They are not cheap. They are not cheap in the slightest. 113 to 106 supply. Very scrappy situation here. Fourth base of Bisu's is rolling. Scans are being used generally to see if the army is hiding, if an expansion's been taken top left. Mm, snipes and obs there, gets another scan off. Did he rescan the top left? He did. Interesting choice. Alright, coming up right side. It's our scary, 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 scary setup here. Dude, that Goliath got way too many body shots on that carrier before it died. That was a little bit sloppy from Bisu. Maybe. No, this is not an expansion pylon. That is a pylon to make sure that Flash doesn't expand down there. Same thing that way. So scanning, seeing this base is pretty vulnerable. Seeing what's going on down there too. It's only a pylon. Cool. Vulture is willing to die just to get a few more probe kills. And they do. They get a few more probe kills. But man, 60 to 30 is never what you want to see in a worker count disadvantage against Flash. Not even a single time. I'm not sure what that Vulture was trying to do, but he gets pinned and killed. Maybe going after probes in the natural base? Pretty pretty bold maneuver there, Sir Vulture Pilot. Okay, Bisu holding. Bisu got plus two, plus one now on his carriers. Here we go, just huge swaths of interceptors focusing down, ooh, science vessel down. Siege tanks taking hits, but a lot of Goliaths remaining here. Zealot count, not really enough to jump in. Goliaths never trade that well against uh, the Zealots anyway, but the Dragoons, yes, and Bisu has to back out. My gosh, more vulture stuff. But Probes kept that Vulture in range of that cannon and executed their own attacker. That is pretty good play. 
out of those probes. Not easy to do. Bisu made it look pretty simple, but it is not. Tons of scans. Another ob goes down. Scanning to see if anybody's over here. Scanning here to see. Okay, army heading down this way. Let's go. Let's go, boys. That's what Comsat is for. Oh, just kidding. Maybe we go up this. No, we got juked. We tried to juke. Instead, we got juked. 155 to 129 supply here. And nice angle of attack. Good concave here from Flash. Any EMPs to go down? Science vessels are trying. Trying to find an angle to get an EMP off on these carriers. But this ground army, bad pathing on those dragoons. One of them, two of them get killed for pathing purposes. But yeah, our, we're just four base to four base right now. And that's not where BC wants to be. He needs a fifth base. If he's going to compete here, and that's the thing about Bloody Ridge, is your fifth base is here or here, or it's here. And this is a nightmare to try to take. Zerg players need that advantage. What the heck? Did he storm drop up here and then turn them into Archons? He must have. Dude, a couple swipes. Oh, huge swipes. Okay, that Archon getting some work done. 40 to 36 workers now. Flash had a huge worker advantage, and now it's four. But economically, base count to base count is not looking at all positive for Bisu. He's got to hold on to force a game five. Can he do it? Again, the utter lack of splash damage in his army comps. Really no Reavers in these battles, no High Templar in these battles. Archons, yeah, but not as good against Terran as they can be against Zerg Archons. 156 to 136 supply. Worker count is more even, so that is a lot of army advantage here. EMP gets tossed down, does hit those carriers. Nicely done. But look at the Terran army here, mobilized, ready to rock. Zell is getting some work done on the right side, but the left side is nothing but flash. Are there enough? Ah, uh, there's not enough. There is simply not enough. 146 to 83 total supply. This base is dying. GG! Bisu taps out and Flash wins our best of five. Hey, you're cheating. You're getting your score up. Uh, a score of 3 to 1. Woo! He drops game one. Flash fans are like, oh no. What's going on here? And yeah, then he just wins the next three games like an absolute boss. Like an absolute boss. Wow. That was good. That was beyond good by Flash, man. Uh, Flash fans were worried. Be, you know, be honest. Be honest and say you, you were worried about this. Because I was kind of worried for him. So, yeah, you guys should be too, but... Uh, nah, get some early pressure in. Does a great job killing probes. Takes a storm drop in that last game. It does some damage to him. But he's more consistently attacking the economy of Bisu than vice versa. And then, just, you know, more Goliaths that the carriers show up. He's chasing them away. The siege tanks. I mean, the upgrades on these suckers. 3, 2, 20 minutes. That's about right. Just firing up more Goliaths all the time. And from there... Gets that win, gets to a position. BCU can't secure a fifth base, you know? You just need that cost efficiency. You need that better income to beat a Mekking Terran player. BCU taps out and Flash gets it. 173,000 points to 160 in favor of Flash. Producing similar numbers of units, but Flash out kills BCU by about 100 units. That's a huge deal. Structures raised. 11 to 0 is a big deal, too. Man, Flash in this last game. And again, out spending the Protoss. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> he can't. Uh, just. <sighs> Incredible. Incredible. Uh, just. This is Flash. This is why Flash fans clicked on this is because he can do this. Because he's still very capable of doing this. Even against Bisu, who is qualifying for ASLs, looking good in ASLs recently. Like, a definitely a top five Protoss player right now in the world. And Flash, he's kind of been away. But when he competes, he's very good. 
still very good. So GG, like well, well, well done by Flash. Just nothing but insanely impressed. And I think that's how we should always feel coming away from a Flash replay. So GG, well done. And that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered and a best of five featuring you know who, Flash and Bisu. Go ahead at that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.